this tutorial, we will look at how to ship orders using ShipBridge, Seller Cloud Shipping App. ShipBridge opens to a grid window. Click Refresh List at the top right and all unshipped orders will populate the grid. Orders that are on hold, unpaid, or marked for dropshipping will not load into ShipBridge. Orders load into ShipBridge with order details including the shipping address, shipping method, and product information including the shipping weight. This is a combination of information originating at the order source, such as Amazon and eBay, and product information stored on SellerCloud, on the shipping preference page, and shipping rules. While information is all pre-filled, you can edit these order details within ShipBridge. Clicking on the individual cells will open them and allow for editing. For example, we can edit the Ship2 address in this cell. ShipBridge integrates with all popular shipping carriers, and the shipping carrier and method can be edited from these cells. Customer information can also be edited in this module at the bottom left of the page. You can also click on the order row to open an Edit Order pop-up window. Use the tabs to edit more order information including insurance, serial numbers, and tracking. Now we can ship the order. Select the order from the grid. Simply click the Ship and Print Labels button at the top of the page and a label with postage will be generated for your shipment. By default, an invoice or packing slip will print out as well. Invoices can be configured to print on the same printer as the label or on a different printer. Invoice settings are discussed in greater detail in another video tutorial. You can also pre-print an invoice before printing the label by selecting an order and clicking the Pre-Print Invoice button. Right next to Ship and Print Labels is a Scan and Ship button. Using this button to ship will require the shipper to scan in each item in the order before shipping. The Scan and Ship feature is the subject of another video tutorial. Multiple orders can be selected for label printing simultaneously. The quickest and most efficient way to batch print is to select orders and click Process Batches on the menu. As soon as the label is printed, the order status in Seller Cloud will change to Shipped. All shipping information, including the tracking number, as well as the shipper's name, location, and time of shipping, are saved to the order in Seller Cloud. The Profit and Loss tab will update with shipping cost. If a label was printed erroneously, locate the order in the Fully Shipped tab. Select the order and right click. Click on the Unship option. Unshipping the order will void the label and update the order shipping status. If the shipping method selected is USPS through Andesha, a request will be generated for a refund. Once the order unships, it will populate the unshipped order grid for reshipping. For more information on shipping through ShipBridge, please visit wiki.sothercloud.com.